Hi everybody, happy Sunday, it's me, Miss Sherry. I thought today I could show you how I make dirt. Can you believe it? You can actually make dirt. So this is something that I've been doing for years and years and it is so cool when you actually make the dirt. So here's some steps that I do. The first thing that I do is I spend all year collecting leaves and I collect them in these things that I call leaf towers and I'll show you those right now like this one and this one and these And this one. And this one. And this one. And even this one. And we can't forget about these over here. This is actually where I grow my worms. So I've got that one. And then you can see in here are my worm barrels, just like we have at school. And this is where I collect all the wonderful worm poop water. Oh, and let me show you my biggest one. This is my main one that I collect the most in. All my leaves, I start adding things into my special compost bin. And so that looks like this. Can you see inside of there? Now there's a couple things that you need to add to your compost bin to make the dirt really, really packed with all kinds of minerals that your plants need to grow. So I like to add things like, let's see here. Oh yes, old bananas are really good. Also eggshells work really, really nice. And another important thing is coffee grounds. If your parents drink coffee or tea, these are perfect to add in there. So I'm gonna pour all those in there and then look, here's some stuff left over from when I made a juice the other day. I'm going to add that in. And then another thing that's really great that I happen to have is, can you guess what this is? I bet you can not guess. It's chicken poop. Now you might not have that at home and that's okay. And I actually just recently cleaned out my chicken coop so I didn't have much poop but I still wanted you to be able to see so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour it in there and now I've got all of that with my leaves now the next thing you need to do is to make sure that you cover this up because if you don't then all little critters like to dig in there and you'll get some really bad flies now another thing is you also do not want to add things like meat or dairy mostly just vegetables and uh, coffee grounds are just a really good combination and those eggshells but also make sure you rinse those eggshells or they will also attract the bad bugs that you don't want in your compost now the next thing I want to do is I want to add a layer of leaves on top of the food that I just put in and so this is when it is perfect to use all of those leaves that I've been gathering all week so I'm going to take a scoop of leaves out of one of my leaf bins use my handy dandy pitchfork I'm gonna walk over excuse me Otis he already smells that stuff in the bin Look, I'm just going to cover. Let's get one more just to make sure we have enough. Sorry, I'm doing this left-handed so I can head with the camera. All right, I'm going to take this. Put it on top. And I covered all 
that I have there. Now, a lot of people think that you need to turn your compost, but really, if this was happening in the woods, you would not want to turn your compost. It just sits on the forest ground and it breaks down, right? And that's what we want to happen here. And so you don't ever, ever need to turn it. Just let it sit and layer. But the trick is to always cover it with that layer of leaves because um, it will help break down all of that stuff. And every time that you turn it, you actually disrupt everything that's going on in there. So just leave it and you'll be surprised at what happens. Okay, so now I just dug really, really deep into my compost bin so you can see some of the dirt that has already been made by me. All right, let's take a look. Look at that. Can you believe it? All of that used to just be leaves and food scraps, and now I can use it in my garden. Can you see all the bugs in there, all the activity? That is actually what has helped break down all those leaves. And the best thing are these wonderful roly polies. They are really a gardener's friend because they help bring oxygen to your soil. And so they're super duper important. So what I'd like to do is show you one more thing about my worm bins that I have been collecting. And you guys know those from our own garden at school. Okay, I'm back. So, um, like I told you, I want to show you my worm bins because this might be a really good way for you to also um, make your own dirt without all the stuff that I have in my backyard. It's just been years and years of work, but you might want to do it a little simpler, and this is how you can do that. So, in these buckets, I have... Can you see the sign? It says, Worms at Work worms at work. All right, so let's take a look. So in these buckets, I've done the same exact thing. I've layered them with leaves and chicken poop and food scraps. Now I just added a layer of leaves to these last week, but if I dig deep enough, look at that. Oh, there's also a piece of wire in there. I guess that's not good for the plants. But look at this beautiful dirt that was created. And inside of this are tons and tons of worms. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, yes. Now, these are called red wigglers. And these are the best kind for breaking down your leaves into dirt. They're a little smaller than an earthworm. A lot of people use them for fishing. But can you believe how gorgeous this is? And this used to be leaves and food and I'll take it and I'll add it to my gardens and it will help give all my plants vitamins and minerals that it needs to grow nice and strong and healthy and also with my worm bins the really cool thing is that just like at school I have a hole drilled at the bottom one, so it doesn't flood out the worms and the soil that's in there because then it would make it moldy. But also, I like it so I can collect that water and I use that water to also pour on my plants. They absolutely love it. They start screaming, yay, it's worm poop water! And they get super, super excited and they start growing really, really big for me. Let me show you what that looks like. So I let these do their work and then underneath you can see how I have buckets set out and the buckets collect the water from the hole that is underneath. Pretty cool, huh? Now you don't need four of these. Mine is just a little excessive. Just one would do the trick for what you needed. Thank you for hanging out with me while I showed you how I like to make dirt. Yeah, it's kind of a weird hobby, but it's super, super cool. And every season I get so excited to see the dirt that I created. So remember, if you want to make dirt, you just add leaves and you add things like coffee grounds or vegetables. No meat and no dairy, because that would collect things that your parents would not be happy about and you just layer it and layer it. No need to turn it. And then by the fall, you'll have your very own dirt. It's pretty exciting. I never get tired of digging in and finding that black gold, as they call it. 
So let me know what you've been up to during your time at home. You can send me an email or a picture or a video at sherry at artstogether.com. I really miss all of you so very much and I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful time with your family. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.